I once spent the night in a bush in Basingstoke. <laughs> David's team. Right. That's a true. Yeah. <laughs> Why were you spending the night in a bush in Basingstoke? I missed my train. Where do you live? Uh, well, at the time, I lived in Kettering in Northamptonshire, right. Rose of the Shires. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why didn't you go to a luxury hotel? Well, David, uh, at the time, I had no money in my wallet at all, and my phone was dead. I had no way of contacting anyone. That certainly adds up. Why a bush? <laughs> <laughs> Why not a bench or, like, yeah. somewhere warmer than, than a bush? Well, is, a, is a bench warmer than a bush? I would say a bush is warmer than a bench. A bench is definitely colder than a bush. It's more exposed. There's an old saying, you're warmer in a bush than on a bench. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So where was the bush? Mm. Paint the picture of the local area. It was area. right in front of the train station. And there was, like, a little, like, pick-up point for taxis and stuff. And then a, it went down a little bit to the road. And then right in front of the road, just a load of bushes. So you didn't... Look for a long time for a particularly comfy spot. I'll level with you, David. The amount of time it took me to decide to sleep in the bush was embarrassingly short. Right. <laughs> was it? <laughs> now, that does surprise me. It was a quick decision. You missed your train and you yes. go, right, that's it. And you immediately, like, 14 seconds later, you're snoring. Well, I actually didn't get to sleep. It was scary. I, I, I was freezing actually, ah. even though the bush... It was a nice, roomy bush. Can you remember the shape of the leaves? <laughs> <laughs> it was like small little Basingstoke leaves. Individual leaves. <laughs> yeah. Variegated. Uh, uh, OK, you, you have to explain what that word means. <laughs> <laughs> it means there's sort of... Um, uh, there's a sort of white bit on the outside, I think. I wasn't paying attention to the leaves. I had bigger problems at the time. I wasn't sitting in the bush going, one day, I may have to justify this entire experience on what I like. <laughs> i better memorise the leaves and whether they're gentrified or whatever you said. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, James, you've settled down in the bush yes. and you're lying there, but it's cold. Oh, I'm sitting there. Sitting in the bush? Sitting there, cross-legged and cold. I had a T-shirt on. How are you going to go to sleep sitting? <laughs> I was scared. What so were you I, I hadn't really. Of? Oh, oh, it was Friday night in Basingstoke. There were hoodlums around. <laughs> and all you had on was a T-shirt and jeans. And jeans, of course. Yes. yes. <laughs> I still feel like what? the bench is warmer. <laughs> so did, did anybody hear you in the bush and, and come and at one point they did. At one point, some hoodlums stopped outside the bush. They said, "You know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't." <laughs> We haven't beaten someone up in a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they speak, David. Bullies speak like that to each other. And I was in the bush, and I, at the time, I was wearing a red dress. <laughs> what did you say? What? I was wearing a dress by now. What, what? Why? You said you are in a T-shirt. Originally, I was in a T-shirt, and then I had to put a dress on. <laughs> Why did you put a dress on? Why? It was cold. Where did okay. you get a dress from? I had it in a bag. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I was, I was making a short film and I had to buy the wardrobe for the cast. <laughs> You're in the bush. The hoodlums had moved on. They didn't beat you up. I tricked them. I put the bag over my head. <laughs> you seriously put the bag over your head? Yeah. yeah. Put yourself in my shoes. They're saying they want to beat someone up. If they look down and see me wearing a dress, it'll be like Christmas. <laughs> so I put the bag over my head and now if they look down, they'll think so... someone's left a bag and a dismembered body Hang on. in a bush. <laughs> People at home, don't put bags on your heads. No, no. Let's go back yeah. to the temperature of this bush now. <laughs> you said you went into the dress for warmth, but surely the jeans and the T-shirt were warmer than the dress. There's a lot I of I don't think... I think, think he said he put the dress on over. I don't think over. he took the jeans <laughs> yeah. and the T-shirt. <laughs> oh, he did. Oh, it was oh, he did. double. Yeah, no, but he didn't <laughs> slip out of the jeans and the T-shirt. <laughs> Fold them up nicely. <laughs> At the side, and then get yeah. the dress and put it on and go, oh, I look wonderful. <laughs> he wasn't doing that. Oh, right. By the end of the night, he's wearing the jeans, the T-shirt, the dress oh, and, and the, the bag. bag. Oh. <laughs> May I just say, it's lucky this didn't happen to Melvin, because if so, he'd have been on a bench wearing a dress and nothing else. <laughs> Let's go for a guess. Is he telling the truth? Mel, oh. what do you think? I think, looking at James, I can believe that he could put on a dress with a bag 
over his jeans and T-shirt, but a man that picks a bush over a bench I can't trust. <laughs> <laughs> so, on that basis, it's a lie. Oh. Faye. I I've got to absolutely say it's true. true. I'm believing every element, really. I'm going to go true. True. Yeah. You're saying true. Right. James, was it true or was it a lie? It's true. <laughs> <laughs>